We shouldn't underestimate what's at stake here. The, the decade for action is an opportunity to tackle one of the great human tragedies of our time. In 10 years' time, we want to reduce the number of people with, who are predicted to die or be injured or disabled in road crashes. We now have a decade of action. We are determined and we can do something about it. And it will not just be talk, but it will be action. So we're in Kibera, which is one of the biggest slums in Nairobi. In fact, it's one of the biggest slums in the whole of Africa. And uh, it may not look like it. So this is a school of around 370 children. All of the kids talk about here is the direct threat to their lives, to their well-being, so to their health, to their education, that's posed by the threat of injury on roads. Just on the other side of this road, we've got five primary schools and two secondary schools that kids from the slums on this side of the road have to cross every morning. They're taking their, their young lives into their hands in order to get a right to education. And how many of you have had been involved in a road accident? I, th I think what you see here in microcosm is really what the Millennium Development Goals are all about. One of the Millennium Development Goals is about universal primary education. And here you've got a bunch of kids who are struggling against desperate odds to secure their right to an education. But, but I think what this has really brought home to me is that there are real lives that are being destroyed here and lives that are being destroyed at enormous cost. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw my son was on the, on the road. I felt, felt so much sad. I fainted there. The doctor said she has already gone because the neck was already broken. We are pumping billions of dollars annually into the road systems of countries like Kenya and treating road safety as a small change issue. And the consequence of that, the consequence of northern donors, of the World Bank, of the UN system, turning its back on road safety, is that people are getting killed. All that we are saying is that we want more than words. The community, particularly this one, is saying that we need action now. Some parts of the UN system are starting to sit up and, and take this issue seriously. From 2011 onwards, we will have a decade for action for road safety. It is a decade for action. It is not a decade about discussing action. It is meant to be a focus for decision makers to allow leaders to emerge and to be publicly accountable for the leadership that they can provide. A decade of action has been proven. We know what needs to be done. Millions of people are being affected by crashes on the roads of the world, and we know how to deal with that. So it's to do with properly engineered roads, with money spent on that. It's about safe cars, but it's also about the enforcement of laws. We know what to do. And if we do it, then the decade of action can be a decade of achievement. I'm absolutely delighted that we now have a decade of action for road safety. And this decade will catalyze action all over the world to make organized, strategic plan with a clear vision and, and activities. This is our badge, this is our tag. We want everybody to be wearing this, to believe, to wear and to act. In the decade of action for road safety, we can see that we have made progress, but now is the time for real action. And when we put it into place, five million lives will be saved. Around 1.4 million people are dying every year on the world's roads. And we know that by 2030, that number will at least double and that most of those deaths will take place in the world's poorest countries. This is going to hold back progress on poverty reduction, on health and many other areas. Now, the decade for action is an opportunity to change that trajectory. It, the future doesn't have to look like that. People are still dying, people are still being injured. It is something that's happening every day, every day. And this is what we are saying. Something can be done about it.